Well, this past weekend, Boston Mills Ski Resort and Alpine Valley opened for the 61st and 60th season, respectively, to the delight of area skiers and snowboarders. And while Mother Nature cooperated, Boston Mills still has to make a lot of snow to get those slopes ready. In today's Growing STEM, we dive into the science of snow. High quality snow is the drier, finer quality. That's lighter, doesn't pack as well, doesn't have as much moisture in it stuff that you can push around with your skis and snowboards as you're coming down the hill. It's shredding season at Boston Mills. But sometimes the weather doesn't always cooperate. But when the temperature and humidity are just right, snowmaking kicks into high gear. Everyone knows that Ohio's weather is a little bit temperamental. So we take advantage of our snowmaking opportunities whenever we can. Evan Biscup is Boston Mills head snowmaker. When the temperatures drop, it's time for him to crank up. Within this fleet of fixed towers and portable snow guns, water and air combine to crank out the white stuff. From the top comes compressed air. From the bottom comes our water. The air and water mix because water molecules want to stay connected to one, one another. The air and water breaks those bonds apart makes those water molecules as small as possible. Those water molecules and small droplets quickly freeze, producing snow. Biscup doesn't calculate the amount in inches, but in gallons. Each snow gun is capable of processing 65 gallons of water per minute. The manufactured snow is more like ice pellets instead of big fluffy flakes. And there's a reason for that. Natural snow has many thousands of feet to fall from the sky before it hits the ground. That gives you that nice, light, and fluffy powder. Here, you know, we only have about 20 feet of fall. Regardless of how the snow gets on the slopes, it's a blast for those heading downhill. Some adrenaline rush there, but I find it also relaxing, you know, just gliding back and forth down the hill. It's, it's fun once you get the hang of it. Ah, yes, we take what we can get for sure. Brandywine has announced that they will be opening on Friday, so that's very exciting. All three of our local ski resorts plus snow trails will be open this weekend.